Now, this is an important thing to stop and consider. He, Abraham pays tithes to Melchizedek, and they have the sacrament. Abraham is continually engaging in rituals. So this is just a little map to show you all the different places he or his sons build uh, altars. He or his son or grandson. Uh, he builds one in Jershon and Shechem. Jacob builds one in Bethel. He builds one in Hebron and Beersheba. He has um, rituals that he performs with Melchizedek here in Salem or Jerusalem. Uh, he is continually engaged in covenant making and uh, partaking of rituals with the Lord. So when we get to chapter 15, he's starting to wonder how this covenant that the Lord has made with him will ever be fulfilled. How can the Lord possibly um, help him have children when he and Sarai have gotten so old? And the Lord renews the covenant with him and has him go through this covenant-making process of uh, dividing some animals in half and so on, which may have some symbolism of, of cutting a covenant with the Lord, which is the Hebrew phrase. In any case, the covenant is renewed with him there. Now, as Abraham and Sarai try and figure out, what can we do to fulfill the covenant? What, what have we not done to maybe do our part? Sarai comes up with the idea of giving her handmaid that she got in Egypt to Abraham. Uh, so she gives him to Abraham as a lesser wife, and she does have a child, and they have some conflicts and so on, and um, she's taken care of. Eventually, she will have the child, and she and the child will have to leave. We'll get to that later, but um, the child Ishmael will end up with a significant and wonderful covenant. It seems to be mostly the same covenant, um, but all of that happens uh, during this part. So, finally, then... In Abraham 17, this covenant is renewed once again. And you see that he keeps entering into the covenant more fully as he goes along. And so you can read here about the covenant and the, the sign of the covenant, which is circumcision and so on, and the promise that they will have children. When we get to Abraham chapter 18, uh, things get a little more interesting. Uh, because uh, and as part of the contact that Abraham has with the Lord, he's... Uh, and his covenant being renewed, he's given a visit. So let's see here. Here in this uh, book of mine, we have a nice little picture that depicts Abraham entertaining, <coughs> excuse me, entertaining the three angels and um, Sarai hearing them and laughing about being able to have a child and so on. But this gives rise to the whole idea of uh, bartering for the, the safety of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham... Uh, barters with the Lord, and the Lord is clearly willing to show mercy, and he just needs someone to ask for it in this case, and Abraham asked for it for them in a very Christ-like manner, uh, and eventually then, these angels are going to go down to Sodom and Gomorrah, and at this time, they seem to be uh, in a lush area, Sodom and Gomorrah, it seems to be fairly lush, so uh, they start out here at Hebron, which is up in the tops of the, the ridge, the same ridge that Jerusalem is in, it's about 3,300 feet above sea level, and as they descend, Sodom, and they're going to have to come and go around the Dead Sea, which may not be dead at that time, it may not be salt, I don't know. Um, it's 1380 feet below sea level, so you're looking at you know, 4600 uh, foot descent and then another ascent later. And they will come and visit Lot here. Um, and uh, of course we know the story of how Lot protects them and there's some interesting things in there we can talk about in class if you'd like and eventually Sodom and Gomorrah are going to be destroyed and they will end up uh, being somewhat desolate like this so this is looking out at the Dead Sea from the Jordan side the modern-day country of Jordan which is the side that they seem to be on and that Lot will flee over into this side and the Dead Sea will end up looking something like this uh, with all this salt and just some place that you really can't live um, as a result. So, um, they're destroyed in there. And then we end up with um, Lot's daughters as they flee and, and they think they're the last people on earth. Lot's daughters saying, well, we have to have children somehow. And this makes for another interesting story. Uh, as a result of their getting him drunk and sleeping with their father, um, we get the creation of the uh, Moabites who will settle down here so this is Sodom and this is part of why we think they end, they were on this side will settle down here and the Edomites or uh, sorry the Ammonites um, who will settle up here and so two of the people that you will encounter again and again uh, come